Alright, so this week we're talking about outing, how we feel about it, uh, what we think is okay and what's not okay, etc, etc. I've actually been outed a lot, mostly because I have a lot of cisgender friends who don't know a lot about the trans community and haven't talked to me a lot about it personally, about situations where people might ask about me. So I've got a couple of ground rules, I guess. I would lay out for someone who is wondering about how to go about those sorts of situations where you're being asked directly about a trans friend of yours about their gender identity. So I guess number one would be if you can, please just direct the question to the actual trans person. Don't try your best to explain it yourself if there's a way that you could relay the information directly to the trans person and get a direct response back. Number two, if you have to explain what this person's identity is, make sure you actually know what it is. Don't assume anyone's identity based on how they are perceived by others, how they're perceived by you, and how they've presented themselves so far. That would be better if someone asked beforehand exactly what my identity is. And I'm okay with people just saying I'm a trans boy, but other people would really like their identities to be specified beforehand. There's people whose identities are a little bit more complicated that need a little bit more explaining. And that's fine. You just need to know exactly how to explain it beforehand so you don't end up kind of messing up everything and upsetting your friend a lot. Number three, I would say try to know how to define trans or transgender. I know of a lot of cisgender people, even trans people, who don't exactly know how to define transgender correctly. I would say, personally, that the correct way to define transgender is someone who is assigned one gender at birth who identifies as another. I don't- I personally hate it when people say things like someone who switched ge their gender, someone who was once this one gender is now another gender. I, I don't like those definitions. I don't think they're accurate. I don't think they describe a lot of people, and I also think they're pretty offensive. At least to me. Number four or five, I don't remember. Don't pretend that like you know everything. If you don't feel like you know everything, make sure that that person knows that you don't know everything. If you do feel like you know everything, talk to someone who's actually trans and make sure that you actually do know everything. Because there's always a chance that you could be completely wrong and just being a dick by pretending that you know what trans means or pretending you know how your friend identifies. Make sure that you are correct. Otherwise, I might punch you in the face. I guess I can share a couple stories or situations that I've come across where my friends or people that I know have assumed that it's okay to out me in a certain way and I, I have not appreciated it. Because I'm friends with so many cis people, cisgender people, I come across a lot of them thinking or um, believing that they know how to identify me or how to describe what a trans person is. And later they'll come to me and say, oh, I told this one person about how you used to be a girl and now you're now a boy. And while I do appreciate your enthusiasm, being that enthusiastic about something that's wrong makes it a little bit more offensive. Because <laughs> I have a lot of very enthusiastic queer friends who are also cis, or not very knowledgeable in the trans community or where, or you know, the different terms or how to describe things. And, and because of that I, I do come across a lot of situations where they will believe that they know how to identify me or describe my situation. And if you're a friend of a trans person that you've done this to, apologize. That would be really cool. 
it's really nice knowing that you know that you messed up. Just because you are trans does not necessarily mean that you know what's offensive and what's not offensive and how to word things correctly. So even if you're trans, ask your friends what their identities are. And oh, bottom line, bonus advice. <laughs> Keep this like always on your mind all the time when you meet people. Do not assume someone's gender identity ever until they tell you. Never. Because someone could be dressed to the nines in a dress and curly beautiful long golden locks and perfect makeup and beautiful giant eyes with a really tiny little feminine voice and who has this gesticulation that's just so feminine. You have no fucking idea how they identify. They could identify as a butch male. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> just ask. Sorry if this seemed like super offensive and straightforward. If you want to ask me any questions, there's a link to my Tumblr and Facebook in the description box thing, and you can always send in a comment. So yeah. Bye, thanks for watching.